Hello, my name is Norma with Mommy's Design and in this channel you're going to be learning DIYs that you can use them as a gift or you can also use them to gift. Let's not wait any longer and let's get to the table. video I'm going to show you how easy it is to work with your sagras and I'm going to show you how I make a um, coffee mug first thing you it happens when you sign in the screen looks like this this is home right now this is to start creating this is where you have creations that you already uh, made in the past this is the gallery with where you find images backgrounds anything you want that um, Creative Studio has to uh, offer for you for free. And this is where you will put all your favorite. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and start and go start creation. And it's gonna take you to this page, okay? Then because we, we're we making a, a Mother's Day coffee mug, we're gonna go to the coffee mugs. And then we're gonna go ahead and choose an uh, 11 ounce uh, coffee mug my coffee mug has the inside and the handle black so this is the one i'm getting and if you look in, in the in the right hand side this is where everything that you start adding into the creation is going to show here it's going to appear here is telling you the that is for a sublimation 11 ounce uh, mug and it tells you the sizes of the product um right here um a little i uh, I don't know why they put 15 minutes to print a um, a coffee mug because it takes a uh, temperature. I put it at 380 and I do it for five minutes at medium pressure, but not 15 minutes. So I don't know how they got that. So when you go to creations, you have all the things that you have done in the past. Again, uh, if I go here, let me go back. If I go to my designs, you can see all the different ones that I have done. When you, got done, when, when you go down to the signs, you can see all the different designs they have. These are the ones that I'm telling you that it's only if you have the premium and it's uh, you have to pay every month. But if you, if you go to your favorites and you had something, you can find it here. If you go to my designs, you can find images that you have downloaded, uh, um, uploaded. And then if you want to upload right here in the signs, you can um, upload an image, an image, but it has to be a PSD file. Then we go back to backgrounds and here is where you find them. Uh, here's the, the, all the premium ones and here's the ones that you can use for free. Then you go down to elements. Again, you can use any of these. Here's where you have your favorite ones text this is again we've uh because we don't i haven't really downloaded any other text than whatever creative studio has then you go to create creative studio and there it is if you go down to galleries here's another way to uh upload images if you go to my images right here you can upload an, Im an image as a png jpeg or svg file so this is the one that I use the most. So if you want to create your image, let's say four by three, then you go create and there it is. There's, it's going to change whatever you had uh, on it. It's going to change it to the new information. But let's go back to the, the one we had picked already so here we go okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to go to the signs if we i want to do a mother's day so i'm i'm uh, choosing that one and um this is the one i want so it's going to download all everything if you uh, want to change anything any of these like change the font or change the size or anything you just click on it and then uh, for instance you go here and then you go here and erase best life and then put whatever you want but i want to keep it the same now i want to move this all the way to the to the uh, left so what i'm going to do is select all and then i can move them all together otherwise you're going to move um 
one by one and you probably won't put them where they should go and you know so on and so forth so now i have my image already where i want it and i go select all to deselect now i want to uh i want to put in an image i'm going to go to galleries i'm going to go to my images and this is the image i want on it so i want to put it this way and i'm going to make it smaller you want to leave a frame between the paper otherwise uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, when when you put your mark to print it doesn't cover those areas so you have to leave like a space uh, between them so I think I want to make this a little bigger right there so now at this point uh, you're just gonna go if you look on the right hand side everything that you did is right here is listed so now at this point all you really need to do is go print right there and then you uh, you go through the process for instance this is not not in US letter is a three and a half by 9.12 and then you go print and one thing before I forget you always have to put mirror uh, when you print and I'm gonna put descriptions of everything uh, in the description box to where I got the marks and where I got the and what kind of um, sublimation paper I use other than that this is all I have for you today guys may the Lord bless you today and every day and until next time thank you